Hello, everyone. My name is Emma, and today I want to discuss a topic that is very important to me: learning how to communicate in English. English changed my life. It provided opportunities for growth, introduced me to new acquaintances. And inspired me to pursue more ambitious goals. When I first started learning, I was scared. I didn't know many words, and my accent was different. But I never gave up. Step by step, I learned. Just like a baby learning to walk, I fell many times but got up again. I know some of you feel the same. Maybe you are shy to speak, afraid to make mistakes, or worried that people will laugh. But remember, making mistakes is part of learning. If we don't try, we can never improve. Talking in English is like learning to swim. At first, the water seems deep, and you may be scared to jump in. But once you take that first step, you start to feel better. The more you practice, the more comfortable you become. One of the best ways to learn English is by listening. When you listen to English, your ears get used to the sound. You hear how words are pronounced. And you learn new phrases without even realizing it. It's like listening to music. The more you listen, the more you understand. Another way to improve speaking is to practice with friends or alone. Sometimes I talk to myself in English. It may feel silly. But it helps. You can pretend you're having a conversation, ask yourself questions, and answer them. The more you talk, the better you get. And don't worry if you don't know many words. You don't need to know big words to speak well. Simple words are enough. Just focus on saying what you want to say, even if it's not perfect. People will understand, and over time, you will learn more words. When I was learning, I used to think, "What if people laugh at me?" But then I realized, if I don't speak, I will never improve. So I spoke anyway, and guess what? Most people were kind. They didn't laugh; they helped me. So if you are nervous, that's okay. It's normal to feel that way, but don't let that stop you. Take a deep breath, smile, and start talking. The more you do it, the easier it will become. Another thing that helped me was reading out loud. When you read, your brain gets used to seeing and saying the words. It's like exercising your muscles. The more you do it, the stronger you get. Also. Don't be afraid to ask for help. If you don't know how to say something, it's okay to ask someone. We all need help sometimes, and asking questions is how we learn. One last thing I want to say is to believe in yourself. If you think I can't do this. Then it will be hard, but if you tell yourself, "I can learn this," you will see progress. English is not difficult if you take it one step at a time.
Imagine you are climbing a mountain. You don't reach the top in one big jump. You take one small step, then another, and another. Before you know it, you've reached the top. It's the same with learning to talk in English. So I encourage you all to start today. Speak English as much as you can. Don't worry about making mistakes. Don't worry if it's not perfect. Just speak. In the end, learning English is like planting a tree. You water it every day and it grows slowly. But one day, you will see that it has grown tall and strong. You will feel proud of yourself for not giving up. Remember, the most important thing is not how fast you learn, but that you never stop trying. So keep going, keep talking, and one day you will be able to say, I did it. I remember the first time I tried to have a full conversation in English. My heart was racing, my palms were sweaty, and I could feel my voice shaking. I was terrified of saying the wrong thing, but I did it anyway. I spoke. And even though I made mistakes, I felt proud because I tried. You see, speaking English is not about being perfect. It's about being brave. Every time you speak, you are one step closer to becoming better. It's like a muscle. If you don't use it, it stays weak. But the more you speak, the stronger your English becomes. When I started learning, I watched movies and TV shows in English. At first, I didn't understand much, but I kept watching. I paid attention to how people talked, how they used their hands, their faces, and their voices. It taught me that speaking English is not just about words, but also about feelings. If you want to connect with people, don't be afraid to show your feelings when you talk. Smile when you're happy, frown when you're confused, and use your hands to express yourself Language is more than words. It's the way you communicate your heart. Sometimes, when you're learning, you might feel stuck. You may think I've been studying for so long, but I'm not improving this as normal. Learning a language is like climbing a hill. Sometimes you move quickly. And sometimes it feels slow. But even when it feels slow, remember that you are still moving forward. Don't give up, even when it feels hard. One thing that helped me was setting small goals. I didn't aim to be perfect in one day. Instead, I set small daily goals. One day, I would focus on learning new words. The next day, I would focus on pronunciation bit by bit. I improved. And don't forget to celebrate your progress. When you learn a new word or have a conversation in English, take a moment to feel proud. Every little step is an achievement. Every step of learning English brings you closer to your goal. I also found that keeping a journal in English helped me a lot. Every night before bed, I would write about my day in simple English. 
it helped me practice thinking in English. And over time, I noticed my sentences getting better. You don't need to write a lot. Even one or two sentences a day can help. When you're practicing speaking, try to think in English too. You may initially mentally translate from your language to English, but try to move on. Think in English as much as you can. It's like learning to dance at first. You need to think about each step, but with practice, it becomes natural. Another thing that helped me was finding friends who wanted to practice English with me. We would meet, maybe for coffee, and only speak English. At first, it was awkward because none of us were very good. But soon, it became fun. We learned together and laughed at our mistakes. You can do the same. Find a friend or a group and practice speaking together. You might also feel nervous about speaking to native English speakers. I know I did. But most people are kind and patient. They don't expect you to be perfect. They understand that you are learning. So don't be afraid to talk to them. If you make a mistake, they might correct you. And that's a beneficial thing. Every correction is a chance to learn something new. There will be days when you feel frustrated. There will be times when you feel like giving up. But I want you to remember something very important. You are stronger than you think. You have already taken the first step by wanting to learn. That takes courage. And here's the beautiful part. English helps you connect with the world, regardless of your background. It's like a bridge that brings people together. When you speak English, you can travel, meet new people, and learn about different cultures. It's a key that unlocks numerous opportunities. So when you feel like giving up, remember why you started. Think about the opportunities that learning English will bring into your life. Imagine yourself in the future speaking English confidently, making new friends, and achieving your dreams. Hold on to that vision, let it push you forward, and always remember to be kind to yourself. Learning a language is not easy, and you are doing an amazing job. If you make a mistake, don't be harsh on yourself. Instead, say, I'm learning, and I'm getting better every day. There will be moments when you surprise yourself. You might suddenly understand a conversation or say something without thinking too hard about it. These are the moments when you realize how far you've come, and those moments will keep coming as long as you keep trying. As I stand here today, Speaking to you in English, I want you to know that I was once in your shoes. I was scared, I made mistakes, and I wanted to give up, but I didn't. And if I can learn to speak English, so can you. The journey might be long, but it's worth every step.
Because with every word you learn and with every sentence you say, you are building a brighter future for yourself. I remember the day when I realized that learning English was not just about understanding words, but about connecting with people. I was sitting in a park and a tourist came up to me asking for directions in English. The first time I didn't hesitate, I spoke with confidence, even though my English wasn't perfect. The smile on their faces when they understood me felt like magic. That's when I knew that English is a powerful tool, a way to bring people together. Learning English has taught me more than just a language. It's taught me patience, resilience, and the importance of not giving up. Each word, each sentence is a small victory, and each time you speak, no matter how small the conversation, you are winning. One of the things that really helped me was using English in my daily life. I didn't wait for a classroom or a special occasion to practice. I used English everywhere. I would describe what I saw while walking down the street, or I would think in English while doing simple tasks like cooking or cleaning. These little moments of practice add up over time. I also loved talking to myself in English. I would pretend to have conversations with people. Sometimes I would even act out a scene from a movie or TV show just to practice speaking out loud. It might sound funny, but it helped me feel more comfortable with the language. The more I talked to myself, the more natural English felt. And here's something I learned that might surprise you. It's okay not to know everything. You don't need to know every word in the dictionary to speak English. Sometimes simple words are enough. What's important is that you can express your thoughts and feelings. Even if you don't know the perfect word, there's always a way to communicate. English, like any language, is about sharing your heart and mind with others. Another thing I want to share is how important it is to celebrate every little success. I remember the first time I ordered food in English at a restaurant. It was a small thing, but I felt so proud. Celebrate moments like this. Did you have a conversation in English today? That's amazing. Did you learn a new word? That's progress. Every step you take is a step closer to your goal. And when you make a mistake, don't be discouraged. In fact, I want you to celebrate your mistakes. Why? Because mistakes are proof that you are trying. Each mistake is a lesson a chance to learn something new. When I made mistakes, I used to feel embarrassed, but now I see them as opportunities to grow. You are not alone in this journey. There are millions of people around the world learning English just like you, and many of them feel the same way nervous, 
unsure, and afraid to make mistakes. But remember, we are all learners, and learning is a lifelong process. Even native English speakers learn new things about their language every day. If you ever feel stuck, or if you feel like you're not improving fast enough, I want you to take a deep breath and remind yourself that learning is a journey, not a race. Some days you'll make big leaps, and other days you'll take small steps. Both are important. Both bring you closer to your goal. Another important thing I want to talk about is confidence. Confidence doesn't come from being perfect. It comes from believing in yourself and being willing to try. When you speak English, speak with confidence, even if you're unsure of your words. People will feel your energy, and that's what matters. Over time, practice strengthens confidence. Don't be afraid to practice with native speakers. Even if you think your English isn't proficient enough, most people are kind and eager to help. In fact, many native speakers admire people who are learning a new language because they know how challenging it can be. When I spoke to native speakers, I was nervous at first, but I quickly learned that they appreciated my effort and many even helped me improve. Also, try to surround yourself with English as much as possible. Listen to English music, watch English movies, and read English books or articles. The more you expose yourself to the language, the more natural it will feel. And don't worry if you don't understand everything at first. Over time, your brain will start to pick up patterns and things will make more sense. Learning English can also be fun. You can play games in English, sing along to songs, or even join online groups where people from all over the world practice English together. There are so many ways to make learning enjoyable. The key is to find what works best for you and to stay consistent. And one more thing, be kind to yourself. Learning a new language is one of the bravest things you can do. It's not easy, and it takes time. But every day you spend learning is a step forward. You might not see progress right away, but it's happening. You are getting better every single day. At the end of the day, remember why you're learning English. Whether it's for your career, to travel, to meet new people, or to simply challenge yourself. Hold on to that reason. Let it guide you and keep you motivated. When the journey feels long, remind yourself of the doors that will open once you've mastered the language. And as you continue on this journey, I want to leave you with one final thought. English is more than just words. It's a bridge to new experiences, new friendships, and new opportunities. When you speak English, you are not just learning a language. You are stepping into a bigger world, a world full of possibilities. So keep speaking. 
keep learning and never give up on yourself. One day, you will look back at this moment and realize how far you've come. And that day, you will smile and say, I did it. Thank you for listening.